Hello, I'm Mike Sykes with the Gardener's Confidence Collection. We're here today in the Hydrangea Test Garden where hundreds of varieties are tested each year for repeat bloom, disease resistant, cold hardiness, unique flower forms. We all love hydrangeas. They're big, they're bold, they're romantic. They sort of remind you of your grandmother's garden. This is not your grandmother's regular hydrangea. This is the one we're excited about. It's a new one called Mini Penny. It's compact. It gets about three to four feet tall at maturity and it repeats bloom throughout the season from late spring into the fall. You can also, once it finishes blooming, if you'll deadhead these blooms, which means removing the spent flowers, take them away, they will repeat bloom in about six to eight weeks. They love moisture, so plant them where they get plenty of moisture. They like to be in morning sun, afternoon shade, or filtered sun throughout the day, just as this test garden here is dappled shade is perfect for them. The number one question we get is, how do I make my hydrangea blue or pink? It all depends on your soil. Acid soils tend to be bluer, and alkaline soils tend to be pink. So if you want a rich blue hydrangea, you add aluminum sulfate. If you want to make it pinker, you add lime to sweeten the soil. Another beautiful attribute of the Mini Penny Hydrangea is its blooms for cut flowers. They, they're simple and easy to decorate with inside. Just cut a stem, put it in a simple vase, and then as it dries, it can be kept for years inside as a dried flower or used in fall and winter arrangements also. But remember, the exciting thing about Mini Penny is its repeat blooming ability. Blooms from late spring throughout summer and into the fall. I'm Mike Sykes with the Gardener's Confidence Collection, a garden you can count on. For more information on Mini Penny and other plants in our collection, go to our website, gardenersconfidence.com.